Welcome back to another Rat Face 44 Reviews. My name is James, and today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series, Cobra Dreadnought, Naga Hide, Pork Belly, and Yobo. So let's get this started! Go ahead and take a look at the presentation of this box. It is freaking... Uh, Really nice. I could see that uh, Hasbro is trying to make these a lot slimmer so they could put more in a box. Very efficient. And it's made of some very sturdy uh, cardboard. Um, I like the black and blue Cobra symbol, G.I. Joe classified logo, Hasbro logo, and a beautiful presentation of the figure and the uh, Warthog monkey and all the accessories. Looks great. Check that out. Got boring stuff on the bottom and on this side of the packaging you have a really nice portrait of Naga Hyde and the Warthog here number 125 in the line and, and on the back of the packaging here you see the beautiful digital artwork Naga Hyde and Pork Belly and there is Yobo and they're just kind of pissed off in the rain in a forest <laughs> here boring stuff on the bottom you got these uh, digital type of things like on the side here and uh, very nice uh, box here I might add I like this style and this is kind of like the standard for all Hasbro action figures uh, 112 action figures like good old Deadpool here that I haven't opened up yet if you want to see me open up some Marvel Legends let me know in the comment section down below that'd be great so I got my trusty scalpel here we'll go in from the bottom which you can't so let's go in from the side um it looks like there's only two sides you can get into there seal has been broken there he is and here is Naga Hide and Pork Belly and really nice Cobra symbols on the back of the packaging here. So just give me a moment, I'll take out all the accessories. So here's all the accessories, remove it out of the packaging. Let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories from smallest to biggest. So we have two knives here, really cool. Check that out, nice silver paint, nice detail on the handle. These are very nice. And uh, they're not as bendy as some other uh, small knives that I looked at at the in the classified line here so next a single arrow uh, it's done in this kind of green uh, plastic you can see there's a, a feather a detail uh, on this arrow and it has kind of a, it has a kind of a rectangle point to it next we have uh, Naga Hyde's hat check that out that looks really awesome you can see that there's some teeth there and like a, a leather band that goes around the hat done in this in this brown plastic. Very nice kind of detail on it. It's uh, shiny like leather should be. Very cool. And next we have this definitely uh, ridiculous type of knife that kind of clamps around his arm just like the vintage. And speaking of vintage, I have the uh, complete vintage Naga hide in my possession, so stay tuned to the end of the video. We'll uh, do a vintage comparison. It's just basically a really big freaking machete, and uh, it's very ornate. As you can see, there's kind of like teeth at the bottom here, and kind of like a kind of like a sword looking. <laughs> very cool, nice silver paint application on that. That is crazy. And next we have his sniper rifle. Uh, this looks really cool. It has a, a movable uh, tripod or bipod. And it has a removable um, scope on here. It kind of just slots in just like that. It's done in green and black. Removable suppressor that just pegs in there. And again, there is a hole for blast effects also. And here is something we've seen before in the classified line uh, this bow uh, compound bow 
Uh, I believe we've seen this with, what's his name there? I can't really remember his name at this point, unfortunately. <laughs> But uh, this is done in green and black to match with all his accessories. Next we have a this backpack quiver and I believe we've seen this before too. In the line there is a hole so you can put in the loose arrow in so you don't have to lose it. Very cool. You can see it's a different uh, shade uh, it's kind of brown on the feathers here and also you can see here it's uh, you know it brings out a lot more detail in this color than the previous one there is a peg for the backpack and a lot of little clasps here so you can uh, store some accessories on it and last but not least here is the uh, we've seen this before also <laughs> it is low lights case and I believe that's Lil Light's uh, sniper rifle also. So mainly 90% of these accessories are all reuse from other figures and it does come apart. If I can get it apart here, there it is. And we can store the sniper rifle right here with all the parts, the bipod, the scope, the suppressor, and the gun just fits right in there. And let's go ahead and take a look at Yobo here. Let's get a little bit of a close-up shot on his face. Take a look at that. Looks like he's seen some stuff with one eye because he has an eye patch on there. Uh, he is screaming. He is stagnant, so you can't move his limbs. Uh, he's just a little statue of a monkey uh, with some decent paint on there. It's kind of white on his belly. And the tail kind of uh, goes under his legs for some reason. Uh, it's going to be tricky to, I don't know, display him. He might go on the shoulder of Nagahide. We'll try that out later on in this video. There are, are some kind of darker paint applications on his little feet and hands. And uh, kind of a gray type of color, beige-ish color, and fur sculpted details. <laughs> there it is. There it is Yobo. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at Pork Belly. Uh, I was pretty excited to check out and get another animal in the classified line. Uh, the animals are just awesome that uh, Hasbro is doing for the classified line. So let's go over some of the um, paint applications and the style of this warthog. So let's start at the head here. As you can see, he has this uh, spiky nose ring with these uh, tusks. One is broken cool dark paint applications wow the details on this and sculpting it looks really good and i uh, got these uh yellow orangey beady eyes uh, this looks freaking scary man if you ever see these things in the wild they are invasive and they are uh hunted as much as possible <laughs> and uh he has this hair like like a mohawk on top that is awesome looks really good uh, does he have earrings he has one earring here in silver <laughs> that is crazy i don't know if this is an actual part of the paint sculpt there is kind of a, like a black line here let me know uh is your warthog have that same type of uh, paint job looks like both sides are so i guess it is <laughs> so you can see these uh kind of hairy jowls here on his jaw and speaking of mouth and head i think his jaw or mouth opens up here um I heard in the grapevine that the jaw is kind of loose so it looks see yeah you just need to it, it comes right off pretty easily and it's easily put back on the jaw so I don't know if I'm gonna leave I'm gonna keep his mouth open maybe a little bit but just be aware that yeah this falls out really easily not a big deal but you can't overextend the jaw so you can leave his mouth a little bit open and you can see this with a little bit of a uh, tongue detail in his mouth that is really cool check that out this looks phenomenal so let's go over some of the articulation and uh, the rest of the body here so his head does move and it's on a ball joint You've got a lot of cool range of motion here check that out you got these elbows, they are pinned. 
and the, the hooves are articulated also check that out <laughs> really cool uh, this looks phenomenal and you have kind of the uh, waist as you <laughs> might call it here <laughs> it moves a lot check that out hind legs look great they move very well you got kind of a, a swivel here that kind of opens up the tail does articulate also it's just on a peg and you can just move it around so overall man this looks really cool holy crap we got a giant pig in classifieds <laughs> amazing all right guys let's go ahead and take a look at naga hide so i've messed around with this for just a moment and right off the bat the wiggle test ab crunch it is very very loose uh this is super disappointing I'm going to start off with the negatives first, just offhand. And uh, another thing is, is the reuse. Gung Ho uh, is all upper body is Gung Ho arms. I think the legs are, I think they're roadblocks legs. Check that out. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look what has changed here <laughs> or what did they add to this to make it look a lot different, which is very, very much appreciated that they changed up this uh figure to make it look completely different you know they added so much more deco on here uh, I like the tattoo on the arm that looks phenomenal really cool to change that up and also the anarchy tattoo which is really cool um, to make it look completely different and the overlays like the uh, jacket here uh, or vest it looks like it is removable which is awesome so you could take his jacket off and the uh obviously the teeth necklace and the dog tags that is around his neck and this vest is uh very very cool i like the details on it it looks like it's it is uh leather or some sort of uh, uh animal skin you can see the details on here and the uh kind of the leopard print on this thing that looks really cool and let's look take a really close look at the head sculpt take a look at that only a face a mother can love and <laughs> that looks awesome check out that tattoo on the side of the head there it's a nice a snake with the tongue hanging out that looks awesome we got that earring you got some mutton chops freaking awesome check that out he looks half asleep or half awake and uh, he looks kind of pissed off also with his teeth showing. Uh, very good face print. Looks awesome. He has some scratches on his head. Check that out. That is freaking awesome. So his both earrings. You got the abs, of course. And going down his arms, you got pinned arms, of course, because it's old. You have these bracelets here with the teeth and the and the fur, black gloves, trigger fingers, you know, and to ex to be expected, the uh, butterfly shoulder joints are not the greatest, as we know, with gung ho. And on this arm here, you have a different kind of overlay, like this bracelet gauntlet thing has a lot of studs. Looks like it's in leather. And you got an armband here with the teeth. There's a, a trending thing going on here with teeth. The uh, joints move very easily. It is a little loose for my liking. Check that out. Butterfly joints are loose. We got the, uh, of course, we got the diaphragm here or the ball peg at the waist. We got the swivel. His, uh, his head is seems to be very, very tight. Doesn't seem he has much of a neck considering all this stuff on his neck. He might have, it doesn't really push down. He might have, might have to push it down here so it'll stay. That looks a little bit better. So we have a floating belt. Um, it has uh, some kind of gas canisters here. You got a buckle there and gunmetal grenades. And we have a knife sheath with some fancy detail here that looks really cool we got some dark blue jeans and a cargo type 
uh, pockets on them. We have a one single knee pad that's over top. Pinned knees, double jointed of course. We have the drop down hips, swivel. So looking at the boots here, this is the same type of boots and feet as Roadblock. Uh, we got the knife sheath on the boot and we've all seen these boots before. So overall, this looks like Naga Hide. So let's go ahead and gear them up. Um, that's one thing they successfully done here with the reuse is they made them actually look like Naga Hide. Uh, <laughs> you had one job to make them look like Naga Hide and they, uh, they did that. So that's awesome. But like I was saying, the QC is still not as good as I want it to be with these figures. Uh, I know they mass produce these things and they just need to keep keep control of that but unfortunately it got out of hand and uh, the trend is still happening with classified figures unfortunately so let's go ahead and gear them up we got the boot knife and that fits in very tightly we got the other knife that fits in the back here that fits nice and snugly We have his hat. Let's see how that fits and how that looks. That looks great. That brings it all together. <laughs> He's freaking styling. So to tell you the truth, I'm not gonna be using this with Naga Hide. Maybe the, um, the quiver here, slash backpack, slash, you know, let's see how that fits here, the, uh, the whole, so it fits on, doesn't come off. It was made for uh, another figure, so it may not fit very well. And it is uh, a little bit loose here, as you can see. So the, the, the unique weapon that he has here is this ridiculous type of machete sword thing that fits around his forearm. This thing fits kind of really weirdly. And these things do bend. Um, yeah. That looks absolutely crazy, of course. <laughs> if that's the right way you put it on, <laughs> it looks like it. Don't shake his hand, whatever you do. So next we have the monkey, Yobo. Hey guys, future James here. So after messing around with this figure for a little while and the monkey, and uh, I noticed and I kind of remembered from the live stream that you can plug the monkey tail into the backpack hole so you can keep old yobo here connected and perched on his shoulder that looks amazing and this is how i'm gonna display naga hide from now on so let's go ahead and try out his uh sniper rifle yeah i might have him hold it he has really loose arms i think i mentioned that already so overall uh, it's a great looking figure, uh, QC, not good, um, unfortunately, but he'll go really awesome with all your Dreadnoughts. Um, I really like this figure. And let's go ahead and do a vintage comparison. All right, guys, so here is my vintage Naga Hide. Um, it, <laughs> this figure is one of the craziest figures for sure. Very uh, gaudy, as they say. I have him fully complete and uh, he has a giant sniper rifle and there is a bow that he comes with which is uh i guess nothing nothing like the uh the reuse from the other figure but this one's more like a traditional bow and the quiver here uh it is nothing like the other quiver it is just reused from another figure but the uh the unique accessory Naga Eyed here has is the machete slash sword that wraps around his wrist. Uh, this is it right here. And you can see how uh, different it is and how much uh, inspiration they got from the vintage as the like the tip of this uh, machete thing is. It's uh, pretty wild. So as you can see, one to one, uh, very, very, uh, pretty much the same uh, colors 
uh, except for the hat, of course. Uh, Naga Eyed's hat for the vintage one is a, a very, very light color. And this is more like a, a realistic brown leather. Colors are very, very similar. You got the boot knife. Even the, down to the belt. Looks pretty similar. That out. So there is an anarchy sign on his shoulder there, or at least I could think it is. It might, mine might be a little worn out. But yeah, it's a very cool figure. Very, very weird. So here's the vintage pork belly. I almost forgot about uh, that I had the vintage version. It's fully complete. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, check that out. You got the same kind of mohawk kind of stylings. You know, of course, the vintage one is super basic and it's a, uh, a statue, of course. But there you have it. Looks pretty sweet. So there you have it, guys. There is my review of Naga Hide and Pork Belly and I guess Yobo. <laughs> And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my review. Uh, if you're new here, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers, so hit that subscribe button. And Yojo and Cobra!